same route on a North Storm Chase. Uh, this time Rossing's with me today. She's driving, we're going to take turns driving uh, throughout the course of the day, so we're doing quite a long trip. We're currently outside Oma, Rue is in the back having to sleep, she's still recovering from yesterday's chase. Uh, really good tires behind us there, uh, between Cookstown and Oma, actually look very good and begin to wonder about our location, uh, possible conversion zone here, but anyway we're going to come up to further west, get a look at radar, into the Severe Thunderstorm watch box and see what the activity is like today. They're, again the west looks best, based on the Arome and GFS. So we're going to target that area closer to the trough in the Atlantic and the stronger wind shear which is about 20-25 knots at best, so potential slate organisation, multi-cell potential. Uh, so a bit burnt out from yesterday's chase, didn't get back till 11 o'clock, by the time we got their memory cards cleared out and everything charged up was 1 o'clock in the morning and we're up early this morning ready for today. But it's looking interesting, uh, again 1000 to 1500 joules per kg of cape, shear, good humidity, good heating. All looks good, uh, potential for some big storms, uh, possible flooding and frequent lightning and I do think funnel clouds two or more based on the basis I'm seeing here. Uh, yellow warning has been issued by the Met Office, Met Aaron, so all is good, all the forecasts are out, the convective outlooks, probably some from Taro later. But uh, yes, we're outside Oma now and then after we get into cash we're going to do a radar check and then we'll maybe take turns driving and see what happens. We'll check in later. <laughs> <laughs> Rhea. <laughs> Rhea, are you storm chasing today? Rhea, storm chasing again? Rhea, do you see any compaction? Look out for some compaction. Hello, <laughs> Rhea. <laughs> storm chasing the day again. <laughs> Rhea's out on a big trip, storm chasing. Yep. She's not used to thunder and lightning. She doesn't even pay attention to it anymore. <laughs> Good care. Underneath too. And we're now at the lock at Cash. This is where we were yesterday evening watching the lightning storm where I showed you those bolts in the drone. It's pretty cool. So this is the exact area here. Lovely location. There's a marina here. Lots of boats in the distance. Islands. So now we've got new convection starting here now, so we're keeping an eye on developments below the border, moving north towards the Fermanagh and central regions and possibly the west again later. Also the northwest of the country might have storms too. Okay, it's now after one o'clock. We're taking a picnic here beside the famous Fermanagh lakelands. Me Roshin and Rue is under the table. And there's the lakes way behind us on the other side there. It's a lovely area. The sun is shining. It's beautiful. Some convection bubbling up. There's a thunderstorm over the north coast earlier. A lot further north than anticipated, so we're still going to commit to our western and central target areas and see what happens. But so far, lovely day anyway, it's warm, humid, beautiful countryside, all good. And I'm having a boost bar by the way, they attract storms. So, okay, we're now in Mullock Moran County, Sligo, back again for the third time of the week. I was only here yesterday. Convection's going up here, it's capped at the minute, quite a strong cap in place, but I can see it bubbling up in real time. So hopefully the cap breaks in a while. It's quite a strong sea breeze here, but it's lovely and warm. Beautiful. There's Classy Bond from yesterday where the lightning was. Towers above it. It's lovely, just a beautiful location, coastline. Oh yeah. <laughs> And okay, we're more more now. It's early afternoon. Uh, there seems to be a capping inversion aloft, stopping the convection development. I've just met up on the dad here and his partner. So we're going to wait out and have a picnic here in this scenic location on the west coast and see if storms can bubble up and, and fire later on. So check in then.